Hi everybody and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to be canning up beans, um, dried beans. And it's just awesome to have those on hand when you uh, need them. Because as we all know, dried beans can take quite a while once you're soaking them and then cooking them all day. And to buy them is kind of pricey. Usually at my local grocery store they'll have them on sale for a dollar a can which is just a little bit less than a pint but you can buy a one pound bag of beans for a dollar or a little bit more and you'll get depending on the size of the beans probably um, let's say three pints out of there now if uh, they have to be pressure cans so i'm going to tell you that right off the bat but also if you want to fill up your canner with um, pint jars like I do um, and that's about nine pints you'll need between three and three and a half pounds of beans again depending on the size of the bean but let's go ahead and um, get started okay the three beans we're doing today are cranberry and that's simply because of the way they look you know some of these are lighter and they'll have like a reddish stain to them and some of them are just a little darker I don't know if you guys can see that, but they taste a lot like pinto beans. Then we have light kidney beans back here, and then we have navy beans over there. I've been doing so much canning with beans lately. <laughs> I think after this batch, I should be set for the rest of the year. Um, this should make about nine pints, like I said, um, but I'm using some, a few square jars, and I can't fit nine in my canner with the square jars, so I'm hoping not to go over, I think, eight. All right, to start with, make sure you have your canner heating up with the jars inside, and then you're going to boil, you know, a bunch of water. It just depends on how many pints you're doing. That's a, that's probably more water than what I need. But, um, yeah, it's boiling, so we're good there. And I'm going to just be canning plain beans. Um, you can add spices to these, but I tend to do that um, when I'm creating my recipe because I just never know what I'm going to be using um, the beans for. So on each jar, I'm going to put a half a teaspoon of salt. You don't have to if you don't want to. I just do it because um, I think it enhances the flavor a little bit. And then we're going to add our beans. And to start with, um, I'm going to go with my cranberry here. Now, you want to soak your, bo your beans overnight. And overnight, I mean like 12 to 15 hours. The, no, 12 to 18, you know, so if, if you're kind of busy. Um, these did go around 15 hours. Then that way you can judge better in your jars. Now, some people fill them all the way up to the top. But I don't. I go about, uh, depending on how, they, how long they soak, I do two-thirds to three-quarters. This could use a little bit more. And you're going to want about an inch headspace. The beans will continue to expand, but not by much. and beans should stay fine on your shelf for a year up to two years it's just that after that first year the starch really starts um, making the jars cloudy and it's just kind of unappetizing if you ever can potatoes, you probably know what I'm talking about. 
There, that looks good to me. I'm going to get these air bubbles out. Some people just tap their jars. Uh, I lost my thingy <laughs> that I use for getting the air bubbles out, so I've been using this instead. And it works, but it's, it's kind of big. But it's important to get the air bubbles out. I still think we need a little bit more water in there. There we go. So now I'm just going to put the lids on and get them into the canner. And then I will move on to all the rest of the beans. Okay, the canner is filled, and I still have plenty of beans left over, so I might end up doing another batch. We'll see. Um, I'm going to get the lid on this. I'm going to vent it for 10 minutes, and then I'm going to process the jars for an hour and 15 minutes. Now, if you're doing quarts, then um, you'll want to do that for an hour and a half. Takes a long time, but it's well worth it. Okay, I just got them all out of the canner. And as you can see, there is three, six, eight pints there. But I had enough beans left over for three more pints. So I put those um, in the canner now. But um, that's because, you know, the cranberry and the kidney beans are pretty big. So I'm happy with what I got done. I'll have plenty of beans on hand for whatever recipes I want. Um, it is super easy, you know. Almost all beans will, um, you know, can up the same way. Pinto beans and black beans and... Um, Great Northern. I mean, they're all really good. I, I canned up some uh, small red beans last week. 
So go ahead and get canning. I mean, it's just so economical and the beans are so good for you and good for your family. Add them to all kinds of stuff, you know, even really cold. I like them on a salad. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thumbs up if you did. I appreciate it. It was nice talking to you. And you take care.